you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> And today's Daily Dose of Stupid, which we are going for a lighter note here, McDonald's. McDonald's gets caught up in the same thing that just happened with CNN and the New York Times, which is they got the left angry and they tried to appease them and ironically really stepped in a pile <laughs> by doing so. So what happened is you've all seen over the past year, we did a big segment about it about a year, year and a half ago on the show where everybody, because of a, a single video of a sea turtle that got a plastic straw stuck in his nose, and granted, the video is hard to watch, and it's a, you know, it's a sad thing that that sea turtle was the victim of some negligent idiot not wanting to find a trash can to throw a straw away. But suffice it to say that that was what was going on, and that, that one video drove this whole giant movement to try to ban plastic straws and get them moved to paper straws and all this other stuff that made no sense. I even did a video earlier this year about paper straws. But they rolled out the paper straws in the UK. McDonald's, trying to appease the social justice warriors, rolled out their plastic straw, or sorry, their paper straws as a replacement to plastic in the UK. And they were just using that as a testing ground, as an experiment, and it seemed to be working really well because they had designed a new paper straw that felt like a plastic one, so you didn't have that weird texture of a paper straw in your mouth, which, by the way, is awful. Um, if nothing else, I wouldn't use a paper straw just because of that, even if it actually worked like a plastic one did. But they made it really thick so that it's not going to collapse, that it doesn't dissolve in the drink. And so basically, they fixed a paper straw that actually works and does what it's supposed to do, which is allow you to drink without it being a, a fiasco. And they were getting solid results. People weren't complaining. The straw worked really well. Here's what's funny, though. It turns out that the new straws are not recyclable. They had to make it so thick to make it actually work and not collapse on you like paper straws always do that it's impossible to recycle the thing. <laughs> And what's really even more funny about that is their old plastic straws were recyclable. These aren't. So McDonald's, in their big grand gesture to try to fix the problem and appease the social justice warriors, no telling how much money they spent trying to engineer this thing, figure out the way that it would work to where it would uh, not deter people from getting their drinks, but also be made of paper. They didn't stop to think, well, our old straws were recyclable and these actually aren't. And this really does go back to a tenet that I've had for a very long time, which is when you try to appease a mob, they're never going to be appeased and you're probably not going to do any good trying to appease them. So in, in trying to do what they wanted them to do, reacting to the outrage culture, McDonald's wound up creating a product that's actually worse for the environment than the original. And you'll remember that something that people talk about all the time, plastic bags started out as exactly the same thing. People were worried that all these paper bags were being used and then just thrown away. It was killing the trees that we were using so many paper bags. And what happened? Over the course of a very long time, all these companies moved to plastic bags so that they wouldn't have to use the wood and the paper to make the paper bags, and now they're complaining about the plastic bags and saying you should go back to using <laughs> paper. So you can't please people. That's just a general rule about this world. You can't please people. If you try to please everybody, you're only going to wind up creating headaches for yourself and they won't be appeased in the first place. So <laughs> that's where McDonald's is one time. It's just funny because Starbucks tried this originally and then McDonald's is trying it now and it, it just constantly blows up in these companies' faces because they can never please everybody. They can never actually get the social justice warrior mob off of their back. And uh, the thing is, global warming alarmists and the other sections of the social justice warrior mob, they care about feelings, not results. The reason that they want to force companies to use plastic straws is not because they think it's actually better for the environment, even though they probably genuinely believe that. They're doing it because it makes them feel good. That instead of having the issues where they are using products that they think are bad for the environment, 
it makes them feel good. Whether or not it's actually effective really doesn't matter all that much. It's the same thing with the war on poverty or a lot of the other leftist ideas. We've had the war on poverty for 50 years and we've still got the same rate of poor people. And yet somehow this is a good idea. Not because it actually does good, but because it feels good. In the real world, you have to be worried about results. And the results on this little McDonald's experiment came back and they were not favorable. Now, I know you're here because you're interested in information on what's going on in the state of Alabama and around the world, and you've come to the right place for that. But it's YouTube, so you could also just be here because you're bored. If you want me to keep making videos to keep you occupied, you need to go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to playing Minesweeper.